Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone Horde series video. And on this video I am focusing all my attention on the White King Mine Horde. A very fun horde to take on indeed folks, and a lot of easy kill areas that are available for this particular horde. So, let's get to it. Right folks, as always a bit of information about this horde before going to town on them. This horde is 50 strong. It is one of three hordes that are unlocked from the very start of the game and it is located in the northwest of the Cascade region. Now I've got the map up on screen right now folks so I'm just going to focus on the three areas that this will basically take place from for the killings. You will either have them at their daytime location which is right there. If you are taking them on at night it will either be at their watering grounds which is right there on the map folks or a good bit further along they also have their feeding location which is right there. Over the course of this video I actually have three easy kill areas for this particular horde as well as one or two other runs so let's get to it folks. Right then folks on to the first method and this is a conventional method. Basically folks the whole plan for this one is to basically go into the mine, fire in a grenade basically have them chase me out and then basically take care of the rest outside. Um, most of my conventional runs usually always have one or two resources involved in getting the job done but this is a little extra that I like to add and it's basically the bike placement. I put it there so it will basically funnel the freakers very nicely when they get to that point. Not only that it will actually hold one or two of them back as well. So this is okay, this is a tad unusual, it's not very often you get one of them sneaking about, but if I can take it out with stealth I will. <laughs> no, it's going to be freaking melee unfortunately, but never mind, that's okay. Right, here is the game plan. It's going to be one frag grenade, and I don't care if they see me, hence why the light is on. That should take out round about 30, maybe not... Given the way that this particular horde actually resides in the mines, it probably won't have taken up 30. So I'm just basically waiting for them to start coming through, and then I'm going to hit them hard with some uh, gunplay. From there, I'm just going to redirect them up to this area here. This is just basically just to give me a bit of time. Especially if you're playing this at the very beginning of uh, Days Gone, you maybe don't have the ability where you can actually... Um, reload while uh, on the run so you can essentially use that section um, in order to get your gun reloaded but anyhow folks this one is just about done there is very few of them left yet yeah, just that one right there and that's it folks that is my conventional method job done okay on to the first easy kill area Right then folks, on to the first easy kill location and this is during the daytime. So basically, I'm just going to park the bike there. Basically because that right beside that bike, there is a rock and you can actually get onto that rock very easily. And I will show exactly how to do that uh, in just a second. But uh, the game plan is basically this folks. I'm looking to get into the mine here, just get the horde's attention, a little bit of gunplay. Basically, have them all chase me to that location I'm going to be heading to and then from there I'm just going to take them out with the SAF-12. Again I'm using really um, low grade weapons at the moment uh, just to show just how easy these methods actually are. As this series progresses and I start going to some of the other regions that have larger numbers I will start to show guns that are relevant to what you probably have at that stage in the game but right now it's looking to get onto this rock area and that's how you do it, you just basically um, climb over that area that I did, get to this rock area and then you're good. And another thing, if you don't have the ability to be able to reload while running, you simply wait until you get to this rock area here and then reload your weapon. Because it's nice and safe, you're not going to get uh, touched by any of the freakers, they really do have a hard job in reaching you at this uh, point here and it is quite literally just a clean up job at this point folks. This hoard should be done in the next 10 20 seconds. Yep, 
Just one more. Come on. Okay. That's not the entire horde. Not a problem. If there is any left, there ain't going to be many. So it's just a case of going into the mine now and just cleaning up what uh, is left to take care of. And I am actually amazed that there is one in here. Then again, there might be two, might be three. There's definitely at least one in here. There was two. <laughs> okay, but there we go, folks. That is the first easy kill location. Job done and a very nice one. Right now, folks, on to the second easy kill location. And this takes place at night. And this is the only one that takes place by their water area. Now, it's also quite a dangerous area as well because you do tend to get a lot of other freakers in this area. But basically, I'm just looking to get the horde's attention because that's them all right there. And uh, once I've got their attention, I'm just looking to take them over to this location right here. That rock area there is what I'm heading for and you want to head up it in that line. Do it that way, you'll get up there first time every time. And from here, once you're on this rock area, you are untouchable. And one thing to note, of course, if you are using a very early Days Gone bike, you will actually take a bit of damage to the bike because you're basically going through water. But for the sake of a few pieces of scrap that it's going to take to fix the bike, this is totally worth it. If you do want to take out this for that night time, this is probably the best of the two methods that I'm going to show. Because there is another one that takes place at their feeding area. But this one, in my view, is far, far easier. And as you can see, folks, this horde is just about done. When I can finally get that one done. <gasps> okay, on to the next. Right, folks, on to the easy kill location number three. And this is basically their feeding ground. So again, this takes place at night time. And the most dangerous part of this, really, is actually making your way to the kill area because you do actually have to do a little bit of a diversion uh, around their area because they are basically down there so you do have to take a wide berth of them then you're heading over this way you're looking for this area right up here and when you get to this area it's very important you really slow down because there's only one way to get up this rock area um, easily and it's like that once you're up here, then you can have all the fun in the world. You just basically have to get their attention first. And another beauty of this area is that you can basically move the horde about um, by where you are actually standing. So for this job, I'm moving over here just to basically get all the freakers down below me here. And not only that, while they're making their way up, there is a fantastic point there that you can just let loose with whatever weapon you have especially if you have a good uh, special weapon, like an MG45 for example, something like that, uh, where you can potentially take out half of the horde before they even get to this section here where they're right below you. But again, as always, for some of these early hordes, I'm just using really, really poor weapons just to show how easy the job actually is. Right and folks, this horde is just about done, so it's, well, yeah, they are done. <laughs> uh, just going to say that before I uh, go on to uh, the stealth option for this horde and another very easy method, I am actually going to show three fantastic locations where you can get your hands on some really good resources very, very early in the Days Gone game. Right then folks, here is the first location for getting your hands on some really good items very early game. And the first location is basically the power station in the Cascade region. And it's basically located here on the map and where the triangle is right now, that is basically the area that you need to get to. Basically you need to start climbing up all these uh, stair areas until you eventually get to this point right here. And then it is up this uh, rather large set of ladders here. But once you get to the top, this is where all the items are. And there's quite a few in this uh, one area alone, folks. So start off with Approximity Mine. 
fantastic to have early game. As well as this, you also get one flashbang and one frag grenade. I'm full up on uh, medkits at this point, but there is a medkit there. There is also a melee weapon, a sledgehammer. And then you have a pipe bomb and an attractor bomb. All in all, just for that one location, a fantastic haul to get, folks. Right then, folks, location two is actually located in the Belknap region. Albeit in the northern area, it's actually in the town of Marion Forks, and the first house is right here on the map, folks. Now, once you get here, there is a very specific way of getting on to uh, the roof section and into the particular uh, room that all these items are in, and it's right here, folks. As soon as you go in, just look at this, Lord. One proximity bomb, one attractor bomb, and one proximity mine. As well as that, there's a hatchet there as well. You've also got ammunition. Yeah, that's nice. Right, folks, on to location three. And this location is also located in the Marion Forks town in the Belknap region. Truth be told, it's not very far away from location two, folks. And... Very similar to location two, you require a very specific route in order to access the two window areas that you need to get in to access the particular rooms that have all these items. And this is the first one right here, folks. Once you're in here, there is a rag there as well as some ammunition, but there is also a fantastic sniper rifle that you can get very early. And if you just go through into the next room, you have a med kit and a tractor and a frag grenade but that's not all folks there is also a flashbang on the bed there once you have all those items just exit the window here and then you're looking to go in through the next one here and from here folks there is also someone you can loot as well as a melee weapon but the pipe bomb in the toilet there very important and then there is another couple items here a molotov and also a med kit Okay, always a good time to show a stealth option, especially after I have shown the three optimum areas for getting a hold of the resources that will take out the horde like I'm going to take out now. So basically, folks, this is the ideal spot to take them out from because not only do you have the cover of the bushes here, but you also have the cover from that rock as well. So I'm going to start with a flashbang. It won't exactly get them out in huge numbers, but it will get them all heading towards the entrance. And from there, I'm basically going to hit them with two attractors and basically one pipe bomb and one grenade. If I'm lucky, that will actually do the job. If it doesn't, I might have one or two that I still need to take out. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Right, at this point I'm basically just trying to uh, wait a bit before actually throwing this pipe bomb because that is the first that I'm going to go with. Pipe bomb will basically take out 20 freakers if they are well congregated and uh, the idea here is is basically to take out the first 20 and then another attractor goes in and if I've taken out 20 with the first then I should hopefully take them all out with the next weapon I'm going to use, which is a grenade. I think that's just about them all. Son of a bitch. I just seen that one running just after the grenade had gone off. Never mind, it is only one left, so at this point, I'm not going to use anything else from my resources on the uh, one freaker. It's just going to be gunplay. And that's it, folks. That is a nice stealth option, should you wish to use it. Okay, on to the next run, folks. Right then folks, just one run left to show and this is the quick easy method. It is basically what it says. Uh, if you want a really hassle free and quick method of taking out this horde, this is how you do it. Just make sure the torch is on first and have an attractor at the ready. This is important because you want the attractor done first just to try and get as many of the numbers as close to that attractor as possible because they are well spaced out in this mine. At this point, make sure you're armed with a grenade. One throw, that should take out 30 of them, and then you're looking to arm yourself with an attractor bomb. I'm gonna place it there just so that you can see the devastation when this uh, goes off. I have the gun at the ready, but it shouldn't be required. And there we go, folks. 
That is the White King Mine Horde well and truly dissected on this video. And that is the end of the video, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you've all enjoyed it. Take care.